Hello dear students, morning in this online session of English medium 9th standard and the lesson which we started in the previous lecture will be continuing today in this lecture part 2. So as I said you <coughs> in the previous lecture that how nicely this lesson is derived by the theory in which every portion of the story, the character of the story and every detail of the thro story is thrown in the uh, somehow in the dramatic way by the word phrases here. So, if you take the recap of the lesson that is written behind me, you can read the name which is the lesson Kingdom of Fools. Now, in this lesson, the Kingdom of Fool, we can understand <coughs> that it's a basic theory in which we are needing to know that how the Kingdom of Fool was called the Kingdom of Fool. What was the reason behind that which I have explained to you in my previous lecture. And the king was actually the idiot and his ministers were also the idiots means it's a whole group of the gang as the idiots the word is the idiot is actually referred inside the textbook that's why i'm speaking according to the textbook here now if you go more further yesterday in the recap we saw that or we understood that the burglar is entering into a rich merchant's house now to get some kinds of his loot and now when he was getting exit from the broken wall as he made it broke he actually got his death because the wall fell upon him now when the wall fell upon the burglar the brother of the burglar means the thief went to the king for the justice here king called the house owner and he said that your house wall your house wall killed a man you are a criminal and he said that furthermore after requesting that no sir it's not my mistake actually the house was built by the wall was built by the bricklayer he should be punished well so the king is actually calling the bricklayer as well the bricklayer is becoming old person and he is telling that okay, sorry sir actually I made a, a bad wall a not a proper a constructive wall just because because, because I was distracted now why I was distracted because there was a girl dancing girl who was walking here and there to and fro and that's how I was distracted to looking at her therefore the wall was not built up by me properly so the king is giving him order to call the girl now when the girl is called out the girl is actually becoming old and when she is actually old she is she is actually coming to king and now what the girl will say that is the today's topic of the answer which we need to get into the continuity of this lesson here so let's start the lesson with the basic phrase of the fresh morning today this is your <coughs> ninth standard lecture part number two second part of this and here we'll give the end of the lesson here and we are reading chapter number four the kingdom of fools so my dear students here when the girl was called now she has become the old lady of course because it's a time when it has passed like it has time of it has the work of the ancient or we can say primitive time when the man was the bricklayer was young enough and the house was belonging to the merchant's father and now it is the time when the merchant is living and the father is nowhere but we can say that the bricklayer is in the hand of the king here so now when she is being called when she is being called the burglars in the murder case here she has been asked that what is the reason that you were actually uh, going here and there and you were making his mind to distract out so that he can just focus to you he am actually referring to the person who was a bricklayer see it's a very common and simple answer that the burglar was a burglar he was a thief the case should be closed and shut but this is the kingdom of fool here even a criminal is dying then also the case is pleaded in the court of the justice of the king therefore i can say that okay, she thought for a minute and said my lord i was <coughs> i was waking up down to the streets i was walking there here and i had given some of the gold to the goldsmith and to, to make the jewelry but the goldsmith always made me to come again come again and come again that again you can come my dear girl right now I am busy you go and come back after some time you go and come back after some time so again and again I was making a round trip of his shop the goldsmith shop in between the road was there where the house was being built up by the bricklayer and he was watching me so there is no any kind of 
uh, attraction created artificially by my side i was naturally going there here so to make some jewelry for me as well he was lazy scoundrel or we can say he was a he was like a uh, lazy person who was not giving me my gold very very much easily into the uh, ornaments and all after making it out and now he would give it late so all day i was just making the trip to go there come back go there come back so he made me walk up and down to the houses dozens of the times here so therefore that was the bricklayer who saw me and it's not my fault my lord i was actually i was actually going to the goldsmith so he's telling in this way she's telling in this way because she wants to save herself also now we can say that <coughs> Oh, poor, absolutely she is right, the king is telling, oh, that girl is right enough, she is not having any kind of fault inside the story. Uh, then we should call the goldsmith, let's call the goldsmith then. Now the goldsmith is being called by the king here. So when he heard the accusation against him, he had came to the story known and now he is coming and he is saying, my lord, he said, I am a poor goldsmith, who am I? I am a poor goldsmith, please mercy upon me. And yes, I made dancer, the dancing girl to come many times at my place, but there was a reason behind me here. She came many times at my door. I gave her excuse, excuse, an excuse that I couldn't finish making the, uh, we can say like the gold of the lady. Now, why I didn't made to accomplish the lady's gold? Because I was busy in making some, any other body, rich merchant's gold some rich merchants gold or any or one of the rich merchants gold here they had wedding coming up now that merchant has given me lots of amount of the order of the gold so i was thinking to complete the big order not the small order of the girl that's why i was making always girl to come and go and come and go it means that he was trying to convey the message that they actually i was busy goldsmith bolta hai ki main busy tha because mujhe ek bahut bade insaan ne order diya tha kyunki uske ghar mein marriage था और ये जो लेडी यानी कि जो डांसिंग गर्ल है इसका ऑर्डर बहुत छोटा सा था सो मैं उसे बार बार धक्के खिलाता था यानी कि आई वॉज ऑलवेज टेलिंग दैट यू मैडम प्लीज कम लेटर अभी आपका नहीं हुआ है रेडी सो दे द किंग इज सेंग दैट ओके ओके इट मीन्स इट्स नॉट ऑल्सो योर फॉल्ट है ना मतलब तुम बिजी थे बिकॉज तुम्हें बड़ा ऑर्डर मिला था ही सेट येस देन दैट मर्चेंट इज इन द प्रॉब्लम फिर तो मर्चेंट कौन है वो हु इज दट मर्चेंट एंड देन हु इज द रिच मर्चेंट हु कैप्ट यू फ्रॉम बेजी फ्रॉम द जनरल बिजनेस हेयर एंड मेड दिस गर्ल टू वॉक हु डिड दैट थिंग हु वॉज दट मर्चेंट now walking up down which was distracting for the brick layer also by the little girl or we can say the girl who was a dancing girl here now who is that merchant when he is asking this kinds of question my dear student he was actually know needing to know the name of the merchant here now <clears throat> then the goldsmith named the merchant and somehow we can say that he was none other than the original owner of the same merchant of the house which had fallen it means that he was the father of the rich merchant whose house has fallen upon the burglar yaad aaya aapko so it's a very simple theory here now the justice has come full in the circle it means that though the king back to the merchant when he was rudely summoned back to the court he arrived crying i wasn't me but my father ordered the jewelry he is dead i am innocent here so what he said he said that actually sir i was not that man sorry please forgive me it was my father and he is dead so the case is closed case khatam देखो लेट मी डिफाइन यू होता है क्या स्टोरी में वेन एक चोर घुसता है वेन द थीफ इज गेटिंग इन साइड अ हाउस हाउस ऑफ मर्चेंट वो दीवार गिरने से मर जाता है देन मर्चेंट इज एक्चुअली एक्यूज एज द मर्डर मर्चेंट को मर्डर कहते हैं किंग टू गिव इन द पनिशमेंट मर्चेंट बोल रहा है कि नहीं सर गलती दीवार बनाने वाले की है वो दीवार गिरा है ओके okay, उसकी वजह से दीवार गिरी देन द मैन इज कॉल्ड जिसने दीवार बनाई है वो बोलता है कि सर मेरा ध्यान नहीं था बिकॉज मेरा ध्यान एक लड़की डिस्ट्रैक्ट कर रही थी फिर उस लड़की को बुलाया गया दैट गर्ल सेट दैट कि नो नो सर एक्चुअली मुझे इस गोल्ड स्मिथ ने बार बार अपनी दुकान पर बुलाया था और हर बार मेरा ऑर्डर इनकम्प्लीट रखा तो गोल्ड स्मिथ को पकड़ो देन गोल्ड स्मिथ इज सेलिंग सर मेरे पास एक बड़ा सा ऑर्डर था दैट्स वाई मैं ये काम नहीं कर पा रहा था इसका छोटा सा ऑर्डर दैट्स वाई मैं इसको बार बार चक्कर लगा रहा था सो दैट्स वाई द गर्ल वॉज कमिंग एंड गोइंग हेयर इसलिए वो उसका ध्यान खराब हुआ तो किंग इज वॉस्किंग तो फिर बताइए मुझे कौन था वो मर्चेंट हु वॉज दैट मर्चेंट जिसने तुम्हें ये काम दिया बड़ा सा एंड देन घूम के वो उसी के फादर के ऊपर आता है यानी कि जिसका घर था उसके फादर के ऊपर आता है दैट सर ही वॉज हिज फादर तो दैट मैन इज सेंग सर सर वो मेरे पापा थे आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड पूरा सर्कल मेरे ऊपर ही आ चुका है 
बट एक्चुअली ही इज़ नो मोर वो मर चुके हैं ही इज़ डैड एंड आई एम अलाइव तो मुझे छोड़ दिया जाए बट वी कैन से दैट द किंग कंसल्ट द मिनिस्टर्स यू नो द एडियट मिनिस्टर्स उसके साथ कंसल्ट किया यानी कि मीटिंग किया एंड दे सेड क्या किया जाए अब वॉट शेल बी डू हियर मिनिस्टर रूल्ड डाइवर्सली एंड डिसिवली एंड दे दैट इट्स ट्रू योर फादर इज द मर्डर हियर बट ही इज डेड बट सम बडी मस्ट पनिश बी इन हिज प्लेस हियर किसी को तो मरना पड़ेगा इसकी जगह पर एनी बडी सम वन शुड बी देयर टू कट हिज हैड सो दे फॉर हियर You have inherited everything from the criminal father of yours, his richness as well as his sin. I know even when I first set eyes on you, you were at the root of the horrible crime. So you must die here. So he's telling that कि actually तुम उसी के बेटे हो who was your father and जिसने ये पूरा crime circle का स्ट्रोटेट किया था. तो you actually inherited. Inherited means you are you are actually uh, relating. Uh, we can say member of your dad. You are his blood. So actually उसका पाप means तुम्हारा pap and you have to also go for the death his property is your property so now you are the owner of your house to marna tumhe padega you have to die and he ordered the new stake to be made ready for the execution as a servant sharp the stake and got it ready for the final impaling to the criminal now what is the stake stake is a machine okay stake is a machine where we can say Uh, like two of the bars are there where the head is kept and one is blade okay so blade is coming down and it is cutting the head of the main person who is there to so, uska head cut jayega aur wo mar jayega so therefore we can say that what shall we do he said when suddenly stuck all the needed to do was to find a man fat enough aur jab stake laya gaya us insaan ko andar dala gaya to he was not fitting properly inside that machine so he said that we should actually do some kinds of thing aur matlab ये मशीन में हमने इतना सारा पैसा डाल दिया है तो हमें तो कुछ करना ही पड़ेगा वी हैव टू डू सम काइंड ऑफ थिंक हियर देन वी हैव टू कट द हेड ऑफ अ मैन सो सडनली इट्स टक व्हेन ऑल दे नीडेड टू डू वाज टू फाइंड आउट अ फैट मैन अब जरूरत किसकी थी एक ऐसे इंसान की जो बहुत ही फैट होगा फैट पर्सन ओके बहुत ही मोटा ताजा सा होगा सो दे सॉ दैट कि यार ये इसके लिए लायक नहीं है ये मर्चेंट नहीं मर सकता अंदर बिकॉज ये कटेगा ही नहीं इज वेरी थिन वो निकल जाएगा इधर उधर तो बेटर है वी नीड टू गेट अ फैट मैन हमें एक फैट मैन लेना पड़ेगा सो सर्वेंट्स इमिडिएटली सेंट ऑल ओवर द टाउन लुकिंग फॉर अ मैन हु वुड फिट इन द स्टेक एंड देर द आईज फेल ऑन द डिसिपल हु फैट एंड हिम सेल्फ आफ्टर ईटिंग ईटिंग एंड ईटिंग हियर तो कौन आता है हाथ में रिमेंबर द गुरु से टू द टू द डिसिपल दैट बेटा डोंट स्टे हियर दिस इज द किंगडम ऑफ फूल ये कुछ भी कर सकते हैं एंड द डिसिपल सेट नो नो सर डोंट वरी यहाँ तो एवरीथिंग वी फाइंड जस्ट वन रुपीज खा पी के मस्त रहूंगा मैं यहाँ पे आई जस्ट लिव माई लाइफ हियर सो एट दैट टाइम वी कैन से दैट द गुरु वॉज गाइडिंग हिम बट ही वॉज नॉट लिसनिंग और आज क्या हुआ टूडे दे फाउंड दिस ओनली फैट मैन एंड ई सेड सर सर्वेंट लेकर आ गए ओके ऑल द सर्वेंट बॉट दिस बॉय टू कट हिज हैड ही वॉज नॉट नोइंग वट वॉज हिज क्राइम उसे तो पता भी नहीं कि मेरा क्राइम क्या है एंड देर फॉर यर वॉट शेल वी डू हिस्से दैट देर आईज फॉल ऑन द फैट एंड हिमसेल्फ मैन हु वॉज नन अदर दैन द डिसेपल इट एड बनाना वीट घी फ्रूट्स एंड मैनी मोर थिंग हियर सो ही वॉज टेकन देयर वॉट हैव आई डन रॉन्ग मैंने क्या गलती किया है प्लीज टेल मी मैंने क्या गलती किया है एंड नाउ ही वॉज टेकन इनोसेंटली टूवर्ड्स द किंग ही क्राइड आई एम इनोसेंट प्लीज लीव मी आई एम इनोसेंट दैट मे बी ट्रू बट इट्स द रॉयल डिक्रीज हियर मीन्स हियर द सर्वेंट्स आर टेलिंग कि हाँ हाँ तुम इनोसेंट हो मैं पता है बट देर इज अ ऑर्डर ऑफ किंग तो तुम्हें मरना ही होगा सो दे फोर दे सेड एंड दे कैरी टू द पैलेस execution so he remembered wise guru's words here this city is the fool and you don't know what they will do the next year to usko yaad aata apne guru ki baat hai ke sir ne kaha tha that this city is of the fools aur agar aap yahan pe rehte ho there is no guarantee ye tumhare sath kya karenge here so therefore as soon as he was <coughs> crying the the guru heard the cry of the disciple and the guru said that yaar it's it's like uh, i have to help him he is in the danger so the guru is reaching towards the palace here now when the guru is reaching towards the palace he has found the disciple inside the cage inside the prison and then he is telling that ki no doubt as i said you that you are going to be income a problem okay so now i have to i have to leave you in this danger here but he arrived at once and saved his disciple how he saved that is a question of trust or question of mystery here so now he actually went inside see what happened here generally he had some magical powers as i said you 
everybody was knowing and he is crying whenever whenever the disciple is crying guru can hear that so he could see far and he could also see the future and he could also see the present this thing was said by the disciple to the everyone and when the guru was somehow presented there everybody wished guru about his nature about his highness and all everybody came there to see the guru here and he arrived at once to save his disciple as soon as possible who had got himself such into the problem scrape through the love of the food here actually he went into that problem just due to the love of the food here so the guru is thinking that i should go and i should save my boy so therefore here as soon as he arrived he shocked and he scolded the disciple and told him something in the whisper into the ears okay and then he went to the king and addressed him that oh the wisest king who is the greatest king the guru or the disciple of course the guru no doubt about it why do you ask then put me the stake first put my disciple to the death here so what happened here he is actually scolding he is playing a trick he is just playing a trick he is going and meeting the guru uh, sorry guru is meeting the student and he is scolding him and telling something into his ears he said something and then he went to the king and the king's king was honored by the guru as guru honored the king that who is the wisest one king please tell me then he said you are who is the strongest one the king said you are that who is the magical one he said you are then he said that okay if you want to if you want to know what i said to my disciple you need to give me death and then after my my students also death means you first of all kill me and then you kill my student then only i will tell you what i have said to my disciple then he said that why what is the reason behind that प्लीज टेल मी ही सेट नो गुरु सेट नो मैंने जो उसे कहा वह मैं आपको नहीं कह सकता हूँ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लिसन अगर तुम्हें वो समझना है सुनना है तो फिर आपको मुझे मारना पड़ेगा यू हैव टू प्रोमिस मी कि हाँ आपको मैं मारूंगा तभी मैं आपको वो बातें बताऊँगा जो मैंने मेरे डिसिपल को कहा है आई हैव सेट माई डिसिपल हियर सो नाउ वी कैन से दैट द किंग वॉज अमेज होल नाइट एंड डे द किंग एंड द मिनिस्टर थाट इन द ड्रीम और दे जस्ट डिस्कस्ड वॉट वॉज दैट वॉज सेड बाय द डिस बाय द गुरु टू द डिसिपल वो था क्या वट ही सेड एंड नाउ वेन दे प्रोमिस द गुरु वेन द प्रोमिस द गुरु ओके ओके वी विल किल यू बट यू प्लीज टेल मी कि तुमने कहा क्या वहाँ पे देन ही सेड दैट कि अकॉर्डिंग टू द माइथोलॉजी अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस प्योर स्टेक अकॉर्डिंग टू द टाइम थियरी इट इज सेड दैट इट इज रिटर्न इन साइड द फॉर्चून दैट हु एवर विल बी किल्ड बाय दिस स्टेक फर्स्ट विल बी बिकमिंग किंग आफ्टर हिज बर्थ तुरंत ही उसका बर्थ होगा और वो किंग बन जाएगा वो मरेगा नहीं और जो दूसरी बार किल करेगा वो मिनिस्टर बन जाएगा यहाँ का तो आप हम दोनों को मार दो और फिर विल बिकम द किंग एंड द मिनिस्टर द किंग वॉज इन द टेंशन एंड द गुरु सेड ओके यू कैन किल मी यू फॉलो योर प्रोमिस तुमने प्रोमिस किया था कि मैं आपको बताऊँगा इसका राज तो अब आप मुझे मारो प्लीज चलो मुझे काटो लेट लेट मी बी कट बाई यू so now the king was in the tension whole night and day the ministers and the king they thought what shall we do what shall we do uh, what is the reason behind that what shall we do here uh, this is not the right thing because agar main unko maarta hu to wo ban jayenge raja and uh, we can say one will become the disciple here so <coughs> somehow we can say that okay, he was trying to manipulate he was trying to uh, manipulate the whole mysterious thing whole whole kingdom and therefore we can say ke when the guru and the disciple were sitting inside the cage or inside the prison they were just enjoying their meal inside and the king was now somehow thrown into the do- deep think of the thought we can say he was just thinking here yeah, what shall i do next here now we can say that now keeping the kingdom in his mind else in the next round of the life he was thinking here yeah, if i will kill them both they will become king and the minister and i will become the beggar so what shall i do here so he ordered the execution to postpone the date okay and he was thinking there next two days he thought day and night day and night and he gave order to the minister and he gave order to himself also or the executioner that let's go on the stake ourselves and we will be reborn after the making cut of our head to chalo ek kaam karte hain raat mein hum unse kapde le lenge and we will wear the clothes of the disciple and the guru aur hum apna sir kaat denge wahan pe and uh, we'll get rebirth hamara kingdom bach jayega let's do this was a very foolish decision because they were not knowing that once a life is gone always a life is gone so once you are dead 
you are not going to be alive here so therefore that night the king and the minister went secretly and when they now see the kingdom they they went there and they went they made a promise to the guru and disable and they said that we will let you go don't worry we'll let you go but don't say anyone that you are not killed you give me your clothes and we will wear we will go and cut our herself and we will become the king and the minister once again to tum dono kise bata rahe tum do chale jana so here we can say so the executioner will send the criminals tonight and when his first man comes to you put him to the death here executioner ko kya bola ki dekho jo bhi tumhare paas pehle aayega usko tum you will just kill that aur jo dusra aayega usko bhi kill kar dena executioner will not nahi ki ye pehle kaun aane wala hai so therefore then do the same to the second man those are my orders don't make any mistake aur kya bolte hai king king is telling ke dekho mistake mat karna ye mera order hai jo bhi pehle tumhare paas aayega on the day of execution usko kaat dena dusra aayega usko bhi kaat dena so therefore that night the king and the minister went secretly to the prison release the guru and disciple and disguise themselves as the two arranged before them with the loyal servant and were taken to the stake promptly executed means at the night time secretly they are going to the disciple and the disable and the guru and they said tum dono bhag jao so you just run from here give your clothes tum hamare kapde pehno hum tumhare pehnte hain and then you go ana mat yahan pe office and then the king and the minister are going to the executioner jo sir kaatte okay and now <coughs> executioner kya kiya executioner followed the order of the king because usne nahi dekha ye kaun aa raha hai yahan pe he just followed the order and he was not knowing ki ye king and minister hi aa rahe hain yahan pe and then he cut both of the head here in the morning what happened you know in the morning when the people arrived there when the bodies were taken down to throw the crows and the uh, the vultures the people panicked they saw what they saw they saw before them the dead bodies of the king and the minister and the city was in the confusion all the night they mourned and discussed the future kingdom and everybody was thinking ke bhai who will become the next king and the minister of the kingdom and therefore they somehow suddenly got some of the ideas and they said that let's make the guru and the disciple the king and the minister here so they were preparing to leave someone वो यहाँ से भागने की कोशिश करते चलो उनको ही बना देते हैं सो अदर अदर्स ऑल्सो एग्रीड मीन्स बाकी किंगडम पीपल ऑल्सो एग्रीड एंड दिस इट दैट ओके ओके वी विल मेक देम हेयर सो दे वेंट इन साइड फ्रंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द गुरु एंड द डिसेपल एंड द बैग बैग मीन्स उन्होंने काफ़ी वी कैन से रिक्वेस्ट किया एंड दिस इट दैट सर प्लीज बिकम द किंग एंड द मिनिस्टर ऑफ आर किंगडम सो फाइनली दे अग्रीड टू रूल द किंगडम ऑफ द फूलिश एंड नाउ वॉट दे डिड यू नो दे एक्चुअली विद द विद द चेंज दे वॉट एंड द कंडीशन दे सेट दैट कि इफ वी आर गोइंग टू बिकम द किंग एंड द मिनिस्टर ऑफ दिस किंगडम गुरु एज अ किंग एंड द मिनिस्टर एज अ एज द डिसेबल दैन वी विल डू वन थिंग so from today we can say night would be night and day would be day so if you want to accept that only we can then only we can accept the position of the king and the kingdom here so and there will be nothing like a do do means there will be nothing like one rupee ek rupee mein kuch bhi milega nahi ek rupee mein jitna milna chahiye utna hi milega and most of the quantity will be depending uh, on the uh, most of the uh, money will be depending on the quantity and the quality every price will be same not will be uh, every price will be not same in this area of the kingdom so we will only work as per the market strategy here so they finally agreed and it became like any uh, it also like that kingdom also became like the other places here it was not more than like a uh, the kingdom of fools so my dear students in this story we get a moral that if you don't have your own judgment and if you are having a foolish friend then you can be also leading yourself and your kingdom your everything into the problem here it is better if you ask me a small two line about this lesson then i would say that okay it is better not to cross the river inside the rainy time not to cross the river inside the rainy time rainy season if you are having hole inside your boat it means that don't take any decision if you are having a foolish friend if you are having a foolish minister it will lead you to die or in the serious problems also so we can say that ki <coughs> this lesson is actually somehow we can say taken by a kannada folk tale we can say kannada folk tale from ak ramaniya and also we can say that this lesson is very very good enough to understand the kingdom of fools so i hope you understood the whole lesson if you have still some kinds of queries you can go through reading the textbook here and also you can see the figures on the page from the page number 20 to 26 also take care and we'll meet soon in the some other fresh new lesson till then keep revising self distancing also you should maintain here jai hind